In Western Australia, the switch to the world's only operating wave power station has been flicked on at the Stirling Naval Base to provide electricity to the facility south of Perth. The Perth company which created the wave farm hopes it'll wave farm rather hopes it'll be the first of many along the coast of Australia. Almost a decade of research, trials and construction went into today's power-up. The, the, the wave farm now anchored to the seabed off Garden Island will provide enough energy to power 2,000 households. As the waves pass over these large buoys, pressure is created and transferred back to land. That water under pressure turns the turbines, generating electricity for the naval base. It will also be used to run a small desalination plant to supply fresh water. Our wave resource in Western Australia is the best in the world and, and theoretically the resource that hits our coastline every day could power the state ten times over. The federal government spent $13 million on the project and has committed another $13 million for its expansion. Look, it's a win all round, but we need to do it at a pace where mistakes aren't made and uh, where we achieve each milestone in an orderly way. Wave energy differs from other renewable energy sources like solar and wind because it provides a relatively constant supply day and night. The challenge from here on is really about scale and cost. We need to make the technology bigger, we need to make our projects bigger because that's what allows you to get your costs down. The company is now working on plans for another much larger wave power project expected to be operating in 2017. Courtney Bembridge, ABC News.